The St. Louis Cardinals come into town on Friday with the same record as the Seattle Mariners. Even though the Mariners just got swept by the Milwaukee Brewers, the St. Louis Cardinals and the Mariners do match up pretty well together. In this video, we're going to talk about what the Mariners need to do in this series and how they've fared against the Cardinals pitchers thus far in their career. As you can see here, both teams are 8 and 11, fourth in their respective divisions. And on Friday, we're going to have George Kirby going up against Steven Matt. Now, if you look at it, you would think that George Kirby has the advantage in this game, and I think the Mariners overall really do have the advantage in this game. Obviously, Kirby coming into the league last year, no one on the Cardinals has seen him yet, so they have not had any sort of at-bats versus George Kirby. The Mariners, however, have seen a little bit of Steven Matz, albeit a small sample size, but nonetheless, they have. Eugenio Suarez, Colton Wong, and JP Crawford have all fared pretty well off of Steven Matz. JP has seven at-bats with a 429 average, Eugenio Suarez has six at-bats with a 500 average, and Colton Wong has four at-bats with a 750 average. Again, very small sample size, but hey, it's there. Steven Matz is a pitcher that does give up quite a few walks. So far in 2023, he's walked eight batters in just 16 and two thirds innings. Obviously, we know George Kirby is the king of not walking anybody. So the Mariners really need to give long at bats to themselves against Steven Matz, and maybe they'll be able to take a free base once in a while. Matz is also susceptible to the long ball. He has a 1.62 home run per nine rating. And as we know with the Mariners, we just saw them break out the home run trident. And who better to have had it first than Julio Rodriguez. And now you can get the home run trident on a shirt. Breaking T has put the Julio Rodriguez See Us Rise with the home run trident on a shirt. This shirt is so freaking cool. Make sure you use the link down below to get this shirt. You'll be helping support us. And honestly, I might have to snag like five of these. Matz is a left-hand pitcher, so I assume that we're going to see a pretty similar lineup than we have to all lefties. I would assume Jose Caballero is going to get the start either at shortstop or second base in this game. We'll probably also see Tom Murphy somewhere in the lineup, whether that be at DH or catching obviously Tom's went off to a really rough start who knows how AJ Pollock is feeling we heard that he has been a little sick whoever said it in the comments thanks for letting us know game two of this rare trip to T-Mobile Park for the Cardinals is going to feature Miles Michaelis versus Luis Castillo we all know how good Castillo has been how can he follow up with what he did in his last start going almost perfect on the T-Mobile Park mound versus Miles Michaelis, who really has not been very good this year. Michaelis is 0-1 with an 8.1 ERA with 19 Ks. Obviously, we know Castillo 2-0 with a .73 ERA and 26 Ks. He has been Cy Young worthy so far in April. Playing in the same division as the Cardinals, Luis Castillo, when he was with the Reds, actually faced a lot of these guys quite a few times, and they honestly have fared pretty well against him. Nolan Arenado has 24 at-bats where he's hitting 333. Dylan Carlson somehow already put together 20 at-bats versus him hitting 350. Wilson Contreras, brother of William, who we just saw with the Brewers, is hitting 471 with 17 at-bats. Tommy Edmond is hitting 310 and 29 at-bats, so on and so forth. Naturally, the Mariners that have seen Miles Michaelis the most are Eugenio Suarez and Colton Wong. Colton Wong is 0 for 14 versus Miles Michaelis. That's not a good start, but Gino is hitting 545 with 11 at-bats, two of which were home runs against Miles Michaelis. So look for Gino in this game to have a pretty good showing. Michaelis is also susceptible to the long ball with, in 2023, a 1.8 home runs per nine rating here. So if the Mariners are looking to break out the home run trident, the first two games are definitely the best places to do so. The third game might be a tough one for the Seattle Mariners. Game three on Sunday is going to feature Chris Flexen for the Mariners against Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals, who has been really, really good so far this year. Young pitcher in Jack Flaherty, but he is, when he's on, one of the best pitchers in baseball. Flaherty has a 2.95 ERA with 17 Ks. Obviously, Flex is 0-3 with a 7.79 ERA with just 11 Ks. This is really looking like a good game for the Cardinals to get back. I think the Mariners have the advantage in games one and two, but the Cardinals really do in game three. For the Mariners, the only one who's ever really seen Jack Flaherty is a Eugenio Suarez. He's hitting 278 and 18 at bats. He has three home runs versus them, so another good matchup for Gino. Everyone else, we'll just have to see how they fare. Goldschmidt's probably the only one that's really seen Flexen. He has seven at bats with a 143 average. Overall, they haven't seen much of Chris Flexen when, even when he was with the Mets. The Cardinals offense is going to be a problem for the Seattle Mariners. When you have guys like Paul Goldschmidt and Nolan Arenado, even Tommy Edmond, Tyler O'Neill be coming back to Seattle, there are a lot of guys in this lineup that can make the pitchers for the Mariners squirm a little bit. And I think that the pitching is going to be a big part of this series. The Mariners have the pitching advantage in the first two games, in my opinion. That third game definitely goes to the Cardinals. But with the Mariners hitters struggling the way they have been, 
these might be a lot of close games, like one nothing, two one games. And we know how well the Mariners have fared in those games thus far. Make sure to check out that home run Trident shirt from Breaking T with the link down below. And for the Mariners so far, their one bright spot has been Jared Kalanick. Joe made a great video on Jared Kalanick and how he compares to former All-Stars. Go ahead and check that one out now. I appreciate you guys watching this one and go Mariners.